Hi folks, I'm Ken Miller at Stoltzfus RVs in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Thanks for spending a little time with me taking a look at this primetime Sanibel. This is an awesome fifth wheel. It's a 3551 model. Now, to see the size of those jacks there, this is the automatic leveling jacks. It's a six point, and you hit a button, zoom, it levels for you. Take a look at this awning. Nice, long awning. It covers, it's a long trailer, and it's a long awning that covers that. Got speakers outside. Now, this is dyed finish, so if you scratch it, you're going to see color through, which is nice. A lot of them just have a finish on it, like a paint. Scratch it, you're going to see white under it. Look at this compartment door. These are the great latches, not the little teeny key latches like these things. This is the great latches. Only key that fits it is your key. Look at this storage. Big area. Your lights in here. You can, This is set up for a TV right here. Stereo system. Look at that stereo right there, buddy. Look up there. Aluminum frame. Beautiful framing. Now, this is like a rubber here, so if you spill anything, you can clean it up. Look at these cleats that tie things down so you don't slide around in here. This manufacturer doesn't leave anything to be desired. Look, slam latch. Did you hear that? It's like closing the door on a Mercedes Benz. Listen to this. Isn't that nice? Solid. And then right here, you've got your battery set up. It's not hooked up right now. Then you've got your Jackson all right in there. Come on around here. Let me show you some things. Big storage under there. This is the plastic front. Okay, it covers the hitch. See this hitch up here? That hitch is going to show rust. It always does. So it made you a nice plastic cover so you're not showing rust. Now see this curve? Okay, that gives you super turn technology. Number one turning radius in the industry. Makes tighter turns back in and out of campsites with ease, better aerodynamics, and fuel economy with this nice cap. Come on, take a look around the side here. Nice. Look how long this slide is. When you go inside, you're going to see how big that makes the bedroom. Now, right here is nice. Now, see what's nice about this is both of your tanks are on one side. So when you want to take these and fill them, you drop them right here on the bed of your truck. Just like that. You don't have to go to the other side to get one, this side to get the other. It's easy. You, if you have them on opposite sides, which 99% of the industry has one on this side and one on the other side. Let me tell you something. That's a pain. Watch this. Look. Shocks to hold the door up. That's just like your big Class 8 diesel motorhomes. You don't have to hold it up with one hand while you're trying to get in. Look at the storage. Gosh, that's the biggest storage I think I've ever seen in the basement. Look. It goes all the way up there. I'm serious. I think this is the largest basement storage in any fifth wheel I've ever seen. Here's your automatic leveling jacks. You hit the auto level and it levels for you after you're unhooked. Now you, you hit retract and then set and hit it and it'll go back to the level of your truck. It has a memory of the last time it was unhitched. That way you're not in and out of the truck as you back up. Oh, it's too high. Get out of the truck, come back, lower the trailer. You don't have any of that because of those automatic level jacks. See right here? This is sweet. Outside shower, this hose, that's this one. That's your outside shower. This hose you put in a gallon of antifreeze and you turn on the pump and you pump it through so that you have, you winterize your own coach very easily. Now see this hole right here? That's where you bring up your water line up into here to hook up your fresh water. Okay, nice. This whole system right here is plastic, okay? One piece, no seams. If you spill something, if you, um, it'll run out the bottom. It won't run into the coach. So it's like, a, it's like a trash can in a sense, but it even lifts up. You look at the other brands, they have these things here, like mounted here and here and here and here, and your water hose here and here, and you got caulk all around them. It's a place for leaking. This, they put it inside, and make it nice, neat, watertight. So here you have your satellite input, your cable input, battery hookup right here, okay, city water inlet, winterizing valve, you flip that, now you pump the antifreeze, you winterize, black tank flush, you hook the hose to here, and it rains inside your sewer tank. Now here's your drain valves. You know why they're here, folks? Because this is a four season coach. See this? You push the two gray water and one black. You can tell by the color of the handle. But they're there. They're not under here. Why? Because the tanks are up inside in a heated area. You can be sitting in the winter in 25 degree weather and this isn't going to freeze up. The tanks are in a heated area 
and it's insulated R52 in the floor. So this is just phenomenal year-round use. Look at this. Sounds great. Solid compartment door. Look at these big jacks. Six point. But if you notice, there's no valves right here because there's no fluid in that. So in the middle of the winter, that doesn't have to be heated. The valves are in a heated area for winter. All right, as you take a look down the side of this beautiful fifth wheel, you've got your aluminum wheels. It's a rubber suspension back there. See in between the tires, that rubber bracket on the tri-union, that makes it a softer ride, less impact on the cabinets when you hit a bump. The rear of this is a one-piece fiberglass and type enclosure. See this? Fiberglass. One piece, just like the high-end motorhome, a diesel pusher. We do put a ladder on there, so if you want to go up and check the roof once a year, twice a year, you can. Some people don't have a ladder on the back. Typically, it means you can't walk on their roof. This is a walk-on roof. All right, let's slip around here. See how heavily tinted these windows are? That's going to make it so your furniture isn't going to fade on the inside. Why don't we head in? You ready? All right. Now, folks, one couple things I want to show you here. See this? Solid surface, real solid surface counters. These aren't plastic molded type counters. Stainless steel sink, pull out faucet, one handle lever. You don't have a hot and a cold side. You're trying to figure out what the right temperature is. You just turn dial it. I love the one handle. I don't know about you. That's changed my life so I don't burn myself. All right, as we take a look, let's go around this way. So I've got these chairs with storage under them, freestanding dinette, which is real nice. And then this is a, a usable table. It has a leaf and a drawer. So you got your drawer. That's silverware. It could be there, it could be over there. It's up to you. But when you look here, you see a big hutch over here. I've got central vac and just all this storage. Like I could put my coffee maker right here. But look at this. That's a nice pantry. I wish I had a shelf pantry on the back of my door like that. Residential refrigerator, bottoms of freezer, tops of your wine cellar, a bit wine attic. <laughs> Just tons of, look at this, another pull out, adjustable shelves, pantry. You got the solid surface counters, you got an oven stove, the stainless package, and look at the size of that microwave. That's a big microwave. But you know what? You're going to be out in this for a good period of time, probably, folks. Look at the size of these drawers. That's good storage. The island always adds to storage, having an island. One nice thing I like is when you come in the door and you come all the way around here, you have linoleum. So you you can have wet feet, you're out at the pool, the beach, and you don't walk on the carpet to get into the kitchen to get a soda out of the refrigerator, etc. Swing around, look at this. Woo! Check that out. That's a pantry. And you've got your trash can in here. I mean, this is just done well. Now, you look here, there's no carpet on this. If I'm here and I spill a little bit of something, it lands on something, I can wipe it up. I don't have carpet. But then, there's carpet back here. Most manufacturers run carpet on the slide, entire length. So in their kitchen, if you spill, you're going to spill on the carpet. Now, I just walked into another section, obviously. I went into a living room. So I've got my fireplace. It's a 5000 BTU heater. Switch is right here. Gorgeous, beautiful, full storage. It's not a just look pretty place. It's a storage place. You get solid surface counters here. Stereo Sony system. TV. TV's nice. It's on a swing arm. You can turn it toward the kitchen. You've got your speaker sound system. It's not a sound bar. It's a real sound system. Now when you look in the back, sorry the chairs aren't spun for you, but these are your recliner chairs. A ton of windows. So if you're back by the lake or backed up to the golf course, it's just going to be a beautiful view. It does have a, a stand here for between the chairs when they're spun around. Now you take a look here. This is a hide -a bed but it's also lane furniture. This is quality furniture. Uh, this is residential and a lifetime warranty on the frame. And they'll come to your RV to warrant that if it has a problem. They will come out to the campground and take care of that furniture under warranty. You've got the puck lights in the ceiling. 
nice recessed lighting, good cabinet storage. If you take note, this solid cherry cabinet door, solid cherry wood. It's not a veneer. The qualities that you're looking at, folks, in this are high. You're an R52 in the floor, in the ceiling. Come on up, take a look at this. And this is a nice bathroom. Look at the size of that shower. Uh, lots of elbow room. This neo-angle shower with solid walls, not a curtain. Skylight, adjustable head on the shower. Uh, you got the place up there for soaps and shampoos. Shelves there for the soap bar. I mean, it's like your house. Here's a place for your towels, towel bar handle. Porcelain toilet with a foot pedal. You've got heat in here and an air conditioning duct. And the nice thing about that is a lot of RVs don't have either one or the other or either of those. So when you walk in, it's cold in here or it's hot, depending on whether it's winter or summer. This will be the right temperature all the time. You've got a nice size counter, but I can also lean into the sink. A lot of times when you lean into the sink in an RV, you hit your head here. They've made enough counter space, pulled it away enough so that you can actually use this like your residential. One thing I forgot to say is all the the lights are all on wall switches, so you have wall switches for your lights, you're not short people aren't having a problem reaching up and turning the light on. Look at this corner cabinet, isn't this sweet? Solid wood cabinet, look at that. This is great storage, it's just the way they've done it. King bed folks, talk about the dog and you and your wife being in the bed, there it is, the king bed, that is a comfortable bed, look at this. This is an awesome bed. Look at the pillow top mattress. There's a residential sleep for you right there. It's not going to be like, oh, get me home. I'm out in the RV and I'm not comfortable. This is going to give you that residential sleep. You got cabinets here. Look at this right here. Here's the hooks for the latches for these doors. Look how it's just built. Shelves here. Drawers in here. Big, big drawers. Look at how deep that is. That is one huge drawer. See, folks, you don't have to worry about saying, oh, I can't take what I want to take with me. This RV is going to give you enough storage to organize what you take in a cabinet, in a drawer, in a drawer. Now, right there, do a stacked washer dryer or one piece. Look at that. You've got the room. You don't have to put it in, but it's ready for it. TV's built in. And then look at the bureau. It's a nice bureau. You got a full countertop, nice daylight. Cabinets above. This is just, it's got that mattress we were talking about. Got storage. Look at the storage under there. That is a huge spot. One of the reasons it's so big, it's a king bed. It gives you big storage under there. Again, this is going to give you use as a full timer if that's what you want to do. Folks, this is a leftover 2015. Did I say that? Yeah. Give us a call. I'll give you a great deal on a trade. We are looking for them. I have 300 to 350 units sitting here right now for sale. From diesel pusher Allegros and Winnebago's to Class C's, boats, Class C diesels, the, the view. Um, man, I've got pop-ups and trailers. Been here 23 years looking for folks like you to help uh, find the right RV for your family for years to come. So give me a call. I'm Ken Miller at 610-637-3784. Please ask for me. Thank you.